<laughs> All right, welcome back. This is part four of our of my Portal single player playthrough. <sighs> we just met Glados. We're going. Th we've gone through a couple test chambers. Nothing too difficult. But uh, you know, I have no idea what lies ahead. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. <laughs> no. That's not supposed to do that. Where is the other one? Show yourself. Oh, there it is. Congratulations, not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. <laughs> Navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them, so feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Okay. Was that supposed to happen? I doubt it. Well, now what the what the what what do I do? What? What the? I don't have another option. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> so if I need to get it over there, I need to put it on there, I need to figure out. Okay, that makes sense. Wrong one. Is 
to March. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Oh, Gladys. How, how you kid? <clears throat> It's raining outside, so I'll let you guys know that. I love playing video games when it's raining. It gives you a sense of tranquility. Wow, she didn't have anything to say. Well, she probably will now, eventually. This next yeah, test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Clutch. Mine. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. I might bring my guitar up here for a later episode for the loading screens. Let's Serenade you guys a little bit. Is. Oh, advanced aerial face plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Oh, that's how you catch, alright. Hmm. Clutch. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around. Smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. I see a turret. Okay. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Oh, wait a second. Press the button again. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage? Cool achievement. Standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. Mm. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Alright, it's been about 10 minutes. 9 minutes and 40 seconds. This has been part four of my many-parted series. I don't even know. Alright. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Click it. Click it now. Click.